What's up, guys? So we're only going to be doing four to five videos a month on YouTube. Um, of course, we you just listen to the intro. You're about to listen to the intro. Um, there's no intro and there's no censorship of these words on Rumble. So including this video you're about to watch, it's free to just go watch on Rumble right now. Um, I would just encourage you to just go do that. Go sign up. Either. We do our live catches on there, all of that stuff. So go to Rumble. And of course, if you want to see all these videos early, plus even more live streams and directly support what we do getting evil people like this arrested, go join our locals to where you can see stuff um, months and months early and of course uncensored. But yeah, at least go to Rumble. Uh, you shouldn't even be here right now, but if you insist on being here, enjoy the censored version of this video. What's up guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up? Before we get into the messages with Emily, I need to go over this real quick. In all seriousness, I know that everybody's sick of the old commercial. So here's a new one. If you're interested in buying merch, which is very comfortable, in all seriousness, get the merch here. We have all new stuff, including sweatshirts, shorts, t-shirts, maybe even hats. Check it out. Pin comment, gordonflowers.com. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing an educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Outside. Okay, I'll be honest, sir. See ya, bye. Wait, so say one more time. What kind of car? Oh, no, no, I, dude, I'm like, I'm like, I like kind of had to park in the other lot because it's so full here. I'm like walking right now. I see you. Okay, bye. Watch, uh, watch oh, sorry, here, let's go. I don't know. I was instructed to film this, so got my friend with me here. Okay, so we have the package here for you, and we got the t-shirt for you right here. Okay. okay. I guess the t-shirt's kind of self-explanatory, but so we'll let's see what's in the package, shall we? Go ahead. My name's Gordon, by the James. way. James. Cool. All right. So do you, like, work at all or anything like that? I, I'm 
part time, yeah. What do you do? I'm working as a in the uh, condos as ma in maintenance. Guys. Oh, well, thanks for what you do, man. Hey, it's important to have people live. You, yeah. you help out a lot of senior citizens? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we wanted to talk to you about messages this summer and Hannah and Haley, okay? Okay. So, um, yeah, I know. So let's kind of just go over there, all right? It's all voluntary to talk to us, but I think it's important we do, okay? And we're not here to, we don't want to do this in front of your mom, okay? We just want to kind of make, make it private because, you know, we know you're a good dude that does maintenance, so we just want to kind of uh, make sure that, you know, it's between it's between us, dude. Your mom doesn't need to be involved in this crap. Where is this video going to be? Um, we're not not on YouTube or anything you're like that. You're not going to show the cops, are you? Dude, I'm literally here to talk to you, man. And the thing is, I'm not a cop, not law enforcement, right. not holding you here. Right. But hey, bro, I know you're a good dude. That's why I want to talk about it over here rather than. What's, what's up? Okay. So you know what I'm here to talk to you about? Yes, right? I, know, I know. Okay. I screwed up. I know. I was talking to little kids, little girls. How old were they? One said 11, the other one said, I think, 12 or 13. Yeah. No, you're right. I appreciate your honesty. And then there was also an eight year old, right? I was, I, yeah, I don't remember. I was more concerned about the other one. But okay. I guess so. I don't know. Right. Well, I mean, do you mind, uh, and you know, again, I'm trying to do you solid here with everything, just having to talk with you about this. Do you mind just kind of putting this on? What does it say? Oh, it just says rumble on there. Okay. Yeah. No, nothing, just nothing like, nothing dumb. Just, yeah, no. Yeah. Just where's, got, this can, where's this going to be going? And, oh, literally, it just goes on to the camera. And if you say that we threatened you, then we turn it in and no, say, I'm not gonna say okay. You yeah, yeah, yeah. We just want to make sure that we just, it's insurance policy, but it's not, it's not here to like make you, you know. Okay. Super. And if anybody else comes by and asks what's going on, we'll just say it's an interview. We'll, yeah. We won't say it's anything. Okay. okay. So basically, I mean, you seem to, you want to be honest, right? Okay, cool. Well, let's I just, just do I just made a mistake. I f***ed up. I talked to your kids. I shouldn't Yeah, and you know, that's what, that's what we think it was. We yeah. just think, okay. I made a mistake. Okay. So right. basically, did, I mean, was there a lot of talk? Yeah. Okay. Did... Did you guys talk about getting them pregnant? Yes, I did. Okay. I, mean, I up on that one. Okay. I shouldn't say that. So what were some of the stuff that was talked about with pr yeah, pregnancy? Just meet up and have and have some fun teaching. Just, just to Okay. Not inappropriate things. Sure. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. So um, basically was it like, you know, get one of these girls pregnant <laughs> and then, you know, you know, I don't want you to read these. You can just talk about uh, yeah. That. Get one of the girls pregnant and then have with those kids when they were five. I was, I, I said something, but I didn't mean it by that. I just, I was just not using my head. And, um, okay. I'm on. Well, I think that could be what it is. So I want to ask, when did this kind of stuff start for you online? Uh, probably a month ago. A month and a half ago. Like what? Like, do you know what stuff I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just, I saw you talking. I just, I saw, I met them on a website called Fast Meat. Yes. And I started talking to them, and she put down, she's like, I don't remember how she said it, but I said, she said to me that she wanted to meet me, and then she was looking to have fun or something like that, an older person. And I said, okay. And I said, okay, I know, let's have fun, and then it went from, from there. Okay. Did you ask them for nude pictures? I did. Okay. Of all three of them? Uh, just the two. Just the two. So who did you not ask for a nude of? Uh, Okay, but you asked for a nude of the 11 and 13 yes. year old. Okay, yes. that's that's fair. Hey, man, I really appreciate your honesty. No so, um, I'm not gonna say, you know, that I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm telling you straight. Hey, straight up, bro. I appreciate that. I just don't want this going straight on YouTube or anything like that. Oh, we're not posting it on YouTube. Because I don't want to have the cops. But I'm not gonna sit call and say, oh, you're threatening. I'm not gonna say that. Right, because that's that's the case, then we can be like, it's no, the other. But I've been drinking, so. Okay. I'm Are you drunk, drunk right now? No, I'm not drunk. Okay, okay. I, I've been. I had one drink. Okay. I'm only gonna be on my second soon. Got it. No, I'm not drunk. I can't tell if I'm talking to Megamind or Mr. Colleen right now. It's kind of a combo between the two. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> you, you had a good look. Are you like married at all or were you married? I was married. Oh, okay. Any kids? No, thank God, no. No? All right. All right. Well, what? You know, I gotta, I gotta go back into my, my, my parents before they freaking freak out. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, I could want to talk to you for quite a little bit, dude. I'm not saying I'm, not saying I'm gonna talk to you for like five hours, but like, you know, kind of is important stuff I think we should go over. Okay. I mean, because you talked about, you know, obviously getting a 13-year-old yeah, pregnant and then having with a five-year-old. Well, yeah. I when know. they turned five, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, okay. I shouldn't have done that. And I made a mistake. Okay. I screwed up. Okay. I told them today that I'm done. Okay. I said I'm done. I'm leaving alone. Okay. So you said you were in Phoenix at one point too? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, how many times did basically you invite these girls over to have sex with you? I think... Okay. 
And up until today, that was the plan, it seemed. Yeah. Okay. So there was at some points where, you know, there was actually wanting to follow through with it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Not, not I mean, today I told her, I said, I'm going out to dinner with my parents. Okay. Today, no, but the other days you wanted to, yes. yes. Okay. Okay. That's fair. So, um, so, so basically, you know, this, this whole online stuff, because this doesn't just start like a month ago. It no, starts. I know, I know. I know that. Yeah. I know. But when did this whole like kind of attraction start for you, like to this type of age group? Because, you know, we, we want to, we don't think you need trouble. You're so honest. We think you just need to get some help for this because this is like very far I know, gone. I know, I know. So how, many, how many years ago did this start for you? This year. This year? Yeah. Before them? I started, uh, no, I just started talking to them and that's it. But before then, it wasn't that anything. Well, I mean, kind of what I'm saying is like, did you, have you, did you talk to them on Telegram at all? No. Okay. Do you have Telegram? No. Did you delete Telegram? I didn't have Telegram. I never had Telegram. Never? Okay. Did you ever have Instagram? I have Instagram, but never talked to them on Instagram. Okay. So your Instagram, it's definitely a lot of accounts on there that you probably shouldn't be following. I don't have, I don't have, I, don't, I barely go on Instagram. The only time I go on Instagram is if I have friends that are on there. But that are older, a lot older than 13 or 14 years old. There, you said you have 13, 14 year old friends on there? That are older. That, that, are, all, that are older? They're okay. Probably like 13, 17, 18, but they're friends of the family. Okay. But basically, what I'm saying is, looking at some online stuff, I mean, you know, this didn't, this whole stuff talking to younger ladies under 18 didn't start for you two months ago. No, no. It started. It started maybe longer than that. Like how many years do you think? Well, no, it was definitely this year I started talking. Okay. I mean, so how many others were there that talked to you that were under 18? Uh, one more. How, and who is she? She just, I, I stopped, you know, she, she almost got me in trouble. Really? Really? And what happened with that? I told her that I said she was like six, she was, she said that she was 20 something years old. Sure. And I find out, and she's like, uh, send me a picture, I send you a picture, send me, she sent me a picture. Send you a nude? She sent me a nude Okay, picture, okay. And it looked like she was old enough, and then I said, I don't think so, I made, I made, I sent her a new, a new picture, and she found out, and she said, I, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna, if you don't, I'm 15. Uh huh. And then she said, if you don't do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blab it all over to the world. Okay. So I kind of said, I said, you sorry, no offense, but you're, you're full, some marriage full. And she's like, well, and then she, she's, she didn't do anything. I stopped talking to her. I gave, I let her go. I blocked her. I got her number, and that's it. You almost got yourself in a hole there. I don't mean the Hobbit hole, but I mean just like an actual hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, this, like, this got me in really bad shape. Right, but but I mean, I'm, I'm saying like basically, um, you know, it didn't go from adults to just five year olds no. in a second. It, something had to start for you a couple yeah, years ago, I or remember, I mean, I, I was just, I guess I was just, I guess I was just horny. Horny? Yeah, and I just okay. I wanted to have fun. Right, but I'm basically saying like, you know, if you're horny for five year olds, it doesn't start yesterday. Like, when no. do these, when do these feelings towards that? Age, and look, I'm not here to judge you, man. I mean, it's it's okay. Two years ago. Two year, two years ago. Two years okay. Years ago. Okay, what happened? Like, what, 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 how did you get introduced to that? I was, I was, was there like child or something no, like that? No, 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 no. No? Okay. Some type of. Yeah, it was just like, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, can I get any, can I, can I talk to any person that's younger than that? You were just curious about just it? Curious. Sure, sure. Okay, what happened after that? And it just got more interesting and more, you know, just thinking to myself, can I do it? Can I do it? Okay. And then when I finally had that, the girl that was 16, uh -huh. I'm like, oh, good. Maybe I can do it. You know, maybe I can go younger. And that's. When okay. I, but when I picked up then. So basically for three years you've been trying to do this? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I'm sorry, I just wanted to check something. Yeah, I would just tell your parents that like, you know, it's kind of important or yeah. if they ask or whatever. Yeah, I know. So does this place really have 50 cent wings? Yeah. Every day? Every day. <laughs> God, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take your spot there at the table. It's pretty busy there. <laughs> but I just, like I said, I, I stopped. I gave up. I can't deal with this. I can't. Okay. I can't. I can't. I shouldn't be dealing with people, kids that are younger than 17. Sure. Younger than 16. Sure. You know? So the 16 year old, so you said when you started talking to the 16 year old, you said maybe I can go younger. Yeah. Okay. So she had to tell you she was 16 before the nude then. She told me she was 16. Initially? Yeah. Okay. But so, she found, but I found no. She told me she was no. She told me when I when she was when she first she told me tw she was twenty two. Uh huh. And she looked twenty two. Right. The picture. Right. But I found out that was fake, and she was fifteen. Okay. And then I said, oh, maybe I can. You know, before I got in trouble, she's like, maybe I, maybe I can. You know, I can go younger. 
So did she? So basically, she told you she was 15, and she still sent a nude to you. Yeah. Okay, so the chronological order: Hey, I'm 15. Then she sends a nude to you. Yeah. Okay. And where's this nude now? I deleted it off my computer. I mean, I don't. Have it was on the computer. My, it was on my phone. I don't have my phone. Okay. Well, was it on the computer too? Did you no, get rid of it? Phone. Okay. So you have a phone and computer? I have a computer, but I never used that for my. That's only for business. For business. Okay, so you're just an entrepreneur then. I pretty much do everything. <laughs> You're like a really, really short Andrew Tate. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, okay. So, um... Sorry, I'm just sweating my brains out yeah. Hey, no, you're good, homie. You're good. I appreciate you. So, um... Okay. So, basically, for three years... Like, how did you keep trying to get in touch with basically younger for three years? I went on a website called Fa Facement, uh, uh, Facebook? Fast, not Facebook. Fa uh, Facement, meet, fast Meet. Yeah, Meet24 yeah, Fast 24, Meet. I can't see there's so many of them. Yeah, yeah, no. Say your dad? Yeah. Okay, well, you should probably tell him the truth or whatever. Just, just tell him. I'm... Don't get him on camera. Don't get the dad on camera. Because he's going to trip. How's it going, sir? Yeah, there's just kind of a situation. We just want to, I, I know it's an inconvenient time, but we just kind of want to talk to him about it. He's just kind of been kind of messaging some underage kids, and we just want to make sure it gets addressed and all of that. Like, he's not, he, you know, he's just kind of an airhead a little bit, and we just want to make sure it's addressed. I'm really sorry it's happening at dinner. I don't want to go to the table and bring it to everybody's attention, obviously. That's why I should do it right here. I'm Gordon, by the way. I'm really sorry to meet you like this. Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to, like, eight-year-olds, five-year-olds, it's enough to definitely talk to him about it. But again, I understand you guys are trying to enjoy dinner and you guys have no idea about any of this. And that's why I want to kind of take him over there away from everybody. Cause you know, if I had people overhearing it, it could be a liability thing. So I just want to make sure that like, and we're not filming you obviously. And we're just filming that for safety reasons. So, you know, it's all, it's proved that we make any threats or anything like that, but you know, it's pretty serious. Yeah, and we I just, think he's got to see it and he's going to get put away to a home. He's got problems with homeless people and he's has a I saw a doctor today, he uh -huh. caught in uh, medicine and, yeah. For sure. And obviously, like, I don't want to ruin your, I know it's, you know, it's it's, it's hard not to ignore this. So what is this. he doing? He, text messaging or websites? Basically, and it, we can just be honest, your, your dad, you guys cool enough? All right, cool. So basically, he invited this 13, 11, and 8-year-old girl to his, you know, tap with them, and he told us. And you know, obviously, how come he's not getting arrested right now. We're not cops, and I and I think no, but shouldn't he be? Shouldn't he be getting arrested right now? Um, right now, we're just talking to him, but like we're not cops or anything. And you know, that's really up to you. If you if you want to call the cops, you absolutely can. Um, that's that's totally up to you, between you guys. And you know, I just want to, uh, you, you know, I think if we can find him some help, then maybe that path. But you know, if he's just some, if he's just like you know. Just, for brains that just got carried away. That's different than, you know, actively doing crazy. With homeless people, we go on vacation. He invites homeless people to my condo. Really? They steal from me, Uh huh. you know, and they stole my checks and they write checks out and stealing from my wife, Julie, and it's just awful. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I'll talk to him about all that. I have a way with words. Um, do you think I can talk to him for like 20 to 30 more minutes and you guys can enjoy dinner? Well, we can all- Everybody's wondering where he is. And, uh, they're like, where's James? Where's James? His food is out. I don't understand. Right. I come out, I thought you were on your phone, and, and I look around, and I can't find you. I mean, do you think maybe you can just tell him he's kind of in an important situation? And, and cause, I mean, I don't know how your, how your wife's going to handle all of yeah. this, but, I mean, dude, you got to think. Like, this is your family She's right here. Gonna, well, he know, he know. he's been doing this. Uh, not with young girls. He's been sure. doing it with homeless. He's been doing it with uh, over, not uh, nine, ten. Uh, awful. Awful. Yeah. Are you from New York, by the way? Yeah, my dad's from Suffern. Okay, yeah, my wife was born in Suffern. I know it's 17 and old 17, that little Indian Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, nice. But I'm at the end, Long Island, Montauk. Yeah. Um, I mean, is there any way we could do this, like sit down and have a conversation and get, come into the condo clubhouse and have a talk? Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'd be open to that because he needs to, I mean, like you said, I could call it, he should be arrested. You watch these shows on TV where he shows up at a 13 or a 13 shows up at his place and they they put handcuffs on him and he goes in and it's a squad car. Yeah, you see 13 on TV. This is five, you know, this is five. Five years old. Yeah. Five years old. Well, you said he wanted to have babies with the uh, yeah. eight-year-old. and It's a show and, you know, we are just basically, yeah. hey, do you mind if I just talk? If you want to call the police, get him arrested 
and whatever you got to do. Maybe you, you got to spend some time in jail. You want to have babies with an eight-year-old, James? I mean, I, I got him a job. Hello. We yeah, live with those camera. condo. He's sure. not taping me, is he? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming at the yeah, yeah. You could hear me? No, no, it's muted. I mean, we live in those condos. I own three condos. Mm -hmm. uh, I got him a job there. Yeah, he yeah, he told there me. And yeah, no, I mean, you obviously I mean, everybody go... Everybody loves him. All the people love him in the condos. And Yeah, you go above and beyond for your son. And you, you really don't have to once he turns 18. I know. And... I know, but I want to take, you know... Oh, exactly. I adopted, he... I adopted him, and I, I want to take... I promised him I would take care of him. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. When you called him out here, he thought he was coming to meet a girl? Well, so basically, he invited the girls to his apartment, but he said, I can't right now because I'm out at dinner. And that's when I was like, hey, man, I got a package for you. And then, you know... Boom, boom, boom. But, um, he's handicapped. You know, he's handicapped. I, I can feel problems. that. But ba basically, like, you know, if it's. I mean, my wife is 70. I'm 64. Right. I don't want to bring that on to you all. Anymore, you exactly. know, we're just tired of it. Well, and just two weeks ago, it was a woman stealing from me. There were two weeks before that, it was people. She, somebody in my bathroom in my beautiful condo. Uh, he got a homeless girl and found her in the bathroom all over. That's like, insane. Why do, why, I don't need this. Why, why do we got to... I'm not from there. I'm from up... I got a $25,000 watch on. You know, not a dirt bag, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, basically, basically what I want to confirm is, like, he did send all the messages. This was him on the phone. We were going to call the cops because this is a five-year-old. But, you know, I just want to make sure it's, like, you know, set out. Because there's a chance someone f***ed him. No one f***ed him. But, like, there's... I just want to confirm that chance isn't there. But, like, dude, I mean, I, see, I don't know all that just told me like that's ridiculous that he's bringing it on to you all i think like if you guys if you don't you just go enjoy your dinner i'll make sure this is taken care of you know? oh you're gonna call the police absolutely okay. absolutely we we travel all around the country doing this we have an arrest in 43 states like if you look up on your phone roger you just look up roger we were in alabama a couple days ago there's a guy going after 11 year old girl had child he got arrested so okay. i mean we'll take care of him okay all right so he'll he'll call me or the police will call me then get him out of jail whatever we gotta do. yeah the least that will happen is you know they take a report he gets investigated the most which i think being how severe it is will probably go to jail being what being how severe this is he'll probably go to jail but of course i'm not a cop i can't you know i don't know but he's absolutely gonna get reported and they're gonna be here probably soon okay all right what's your name again know. david thanks man james they already called the police they're on the way they're gonna be in jail Call me. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, but if you're honest, dude, I can vouch for you and say you want to get help. But that's like literally up to you, bro. But I think we just best we talk about it and just make sure we make sure they know everything. If that's cool with you, man. I mean, your da your dad has obviously gone through gone the extra mile for you. So let's just kind of let's just kind of get all the demons out, and so we can start new. You, you feel me? All right, cool. So can you please like let your dad go enjoy his dinner? All right, yeah, best but, as you can. Uh, I got a table full of ten condo people they're gonna ask me where you are yeah it's not fair to do that to him man he literally adopted you and he he, he literally went the extra mile to go make your life not a living hell so let's let, let's just be let's just be adults here and have some accountability so your dad can you know he built a beautiful life for himself so let's 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 let him do that because he didn't he didn't he didn't ask for this you know what i mean so but yeah i'm really sorry david But yeah, yeah. But all right. Well, I guess we'll talk to him for a little longer. And right, hey, man, thank you. Dude, what a base dad. That is awesome. What a nice guy. Say again. I'm just here in the car. Yeah. So let's uh. Just okay. Hey, so James, what? so let's uh, so who are you married to? Is it was I was she... married before. Okay, how'd you meet her? Uh, on a dating website. Okay, was she like heteronormative? Like, was she like special at all? Or she had a special, she had, she had a what's her I don't know, uh, H A D D or A D H D. All right, so so basically manufactured in the past 20 years for big farm. Yeah, got it. All right. I've had my whole life. What's your? I have a run and also I have on my back. Okay, so nothing, nothing that makes you not know what this was. Yeah. I, okay. No, I know. I knew. I just. Okay. I guess it wasn't. 
use my godforsaken head. Yeah. So so basically, so you knew as soon as you told her she was 13, you shouldn't have done this. Yeah. Once she said 13, I'm like, oh god. Okay. All right. Got but it. I kind. I mean, I don't know. I mean, some part of my brain was telling me it's a. It's really you know because I've gotten set up before. With other just, underage stuff. Yeah. Okay. So how many 16, times? The 16 year old. That's okay. All that. Sure. And, that, and when I when I got away from you know and that did not happen there, I'm like I should have you know. Part of my body, part of my head was saying I should not, you know, don't, shouldn't go anywhere, you know, mm -hmm. shouldn't do anything else. And my other brain was like, you know, I gotta, maybe I can see if I can, you know, do a little, you know, longer. Okay. What did he say? I wasn't. Your dad. Yeah. Basically, like, you're a pain in the ass in short. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. I, mean, I wonder how. I wonder if I'm still gonna have the condo or whatever I'm gonna be. Well. Um, Hey, well, one at a time, one at a time, James. Oh, great. Okay. How's it going, ma'am? It's nice, but I was going in, coming out. Right, right, right. We've got the camera facing away from her, of course. Yeah, you're not going to be on film. You, do you kind of know what's happening? Uh, my husband was just trying to explain it. Um, my, my brains are just like in five different places right now. No, absolutely. Um, so I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you what I told him. So basically, he's been trying to, I guess I forgot to tell you this part, but he's been trying to go after underage kids for three years now at this point online. Oh he said he's finally had like success now, which, you know, who knows. But he said he's been kind of searching for it for three years. It, James, come on, man. Let's, let's, let's face some accountability here. Come on. Yeah. So we know about this, like in the past couple of months, I don't know what happened the other two and a half years. But- um, Even with the different phones that he's been using? He said he got rid of one of his phones because a 16 year old, or 15 year old sent him a nude and then tried to, I guess he tried to get or something. And that's why he got rid of it. So I guess he told you all a different you know, story, I'm sure. Yeah, well, because he either breaks the phones or he loses them or whatever the case And that's and probably because of this type of stuff. Like yeah. Years, so basically, I can, yeah, I can tell. He yeah. said he has a learning or something. Okay. But I mean, again, I also did ask him, like, you knew you, you, knew you couldn't do this. Like, he knew that. No excuses. No. Right. He had a, his, his real mom injured him when he was newborn. Oh. He had done. Um, but, you know, he went to his whole life you know, mm -hmm. school. I know he graduated, he got married. I mean, he was married for six years. Right. And then, you know, he can't drive, but, you know, he's capable, he has a job. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, stuff, so. and I think even then, like, I mean, this is, in this case, like, How I don't know. How long of a jail do you think it's going to be? Oh, I'm not a cop, but, I mean, all, all I can do is call him and just say, hey, he's doing all of this stuff and all of that. But he said he wants to. He said he wants to basically impregnate an eight-year-old and then when the kids are five years old, have with them. And he, you know. He's really lost it. Yeah, so I, like, I told, like I told David here, what's your name, by the I way? I just found out he was here, but that's kind of weird. Oh, I just said I had a package for him. That's pretty easy. Okay. Oh, okay, that's why he left. He came <laughs> What was your name, ma'am? Luann, I'm sorry. I'm Alex. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. Nice. Um, so basically, like. Yeah, the cops don't come right away. Well, not, not right away. Like they're, you know, we're just, you know, just going to make. Trying to have dinner, so. Yeah, we're just going to make sure we confirm some things before we sit. But you know, because if we, if somebody his account, which you know, obviously didn't happen, but if someone did, that's why we didn't call the cops beforehand. That's why we make sure. Okay, you did say this. This was you. Okay, all right, cool. And you have it because everything is is, is on phones. Now. Yeah. Everything is on a phone. Oh yeah. So it doesn't even matter anymore. Absolutely. So, um, in that case, um, you know. We already, like, you know, it's gonna be here probably very soon that they're gonna be here. And, uh. James, get over here now. Let me just confirm. You know, just make sure the pickles are ordered. In, uh, in Hudson, Florida. Just make sure the pickles are ordered. Look at me. You wrote down, you told the girl that you wanted pregnant over at eight, and when the kids get to be five, you wanna have with them? James. What kind of sickness is that? You wanna have Children? James, you don't even know what you're doing to us. You really don't even know. Yeah, it's not just but kids you just, affect, you it's your parents. A week ago, it's and two weeks ago, and six years ago.
You, you need to go somewhere. You need to go away. You have a sickness. Don't you understand that? How could you do that? I wonder why Natalie's family didn't trust you with her. Now I see why. Now I understand. Natalie didn't trust them with her nieces and nephews back then. Uh, you know what? I, I can go on and on. I'm so sorry. I mean, uh, yeah, well, it obviously brings you all a lot of and so y'all are. You know, Y'all don't, and y'all have had it for the longest time, and you know, y'all. You're not getting out. Because well, I'm, get get, I'm not paying. You're, you're, gonna, you're not going back to my condo, so I'm no. selling them or I'll rent them out. That's right. You'll have to find a place to go well, live in some kind of. Somebody that wants to do that to children, and. Uh, yeah, it's really. Um, um, well, shoot. If y'all have a. I can give you all my phone number if y'all have any questions for me or anything yeah, like that. I need to really get a cards, so but I can if y'all want to just take what it down do you or something. Tell your freaking friends, what do you tell them? What do we tell all our friends in our condo that a thirty-seven-year-old is going to jail? Oh my god! Yeah. Right, Where's yeah. James? Where's James? He take, yeah. He's in prison tonight. He's gonna be. You're taking him out for Mother's Day. Wait till he gets to prison. Oh boy! You want a five-year-old? You're gonna get. Sorry. No, oh, hey, you're, you're 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 fine. You're damn right. You don't know me. I'm, oh yeah, no, I can see. I'm yeah. You're gonna get it so bad that you wish you would. You are doing the right thing, that's for sure. I'm not even gonna say goodbye. Thank you for holding him accountable, seriously. Just. Yeah. Th th All right, David. All right, Leon. Take care. Dude, amazing. Dude, you have the best parents, dude. They love it. Dude, what they did to you, that's love, dude. That's because they love you. If they didn't, if they were too lazy to raise you, they would have said, oh, they would have come to me and said, oh, why are you bullying my son? You know what I mean? They love you, dude. That's why, they, that's why they're doing I'll be, that to you. I'll be out in, out of, out of, out in the, out of the condos and to freaking any day now. Uh, be, well, they won't even let me back in. Okay. So what I kind of wanted to figure out, um, so you said you've been trying to do this for three years, right? Well, they were, like my father said that back in Montauk, I had a little problem with the you know, homeless person. Was she underage? I'm, I'm finished. I've done this, not underage things, but I've done stupid things in my life. And this is just toxic right off. Sure. And I've but, done stupid things in my life. I've had, you know, homeless people rob my parents, you know, I didn't know until the last minute and they robbed my, my, my father with checks and all that. Mm -hmm. um, just like stupid things I've done. And this is really toxic, toxic. I'm still shocked how based the parents are. Just you were, you were, you were, you really. Not only, I mean, I'm sorry, your, what your mom did to you when you were an infant, but like, you got. Yeah, I mean, did, did you talk about like licking this 13 year old, 11 year old, and all that stuff? Uh, I don't remember. On the phone. I probably did. Okay. I don't remember. So basically, when they met you, you just wanted to do everything to them, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So. You said you've been trying to look for underage for a th two to three years, you said? About two years. Okay, so obviously on Instagram, it's not hard to find them. I haven't even looked on Instagram. I'm not going to look on you because I'm not even more, I'm, I'm really... What I'm what, so what apps did you look on for that stuff? Uh, fast uh, Meet, meet, uh -huh. meet Up. Yeah. And that's about it. And, fa and the other one, Fast Meet. Okay. Meet, meet Fast one. So that's did you come it. across uh, how many underage profiles? But I, only, but I mean, I just want every time I say hello or say hi, mm -hmm. they didn't answer. Okay. Or they say, you know, you're too old or whatever. How did you, well, how did they, how did you know they were underage profiles? They would say 16, they would say 15, they would say, they would say only. Some of them wouldn't say anything. And then I would just ask them, like, are you, uh, how old are you? Mm -hmm. And they would say, I'm 13 or uh, okay. 14. I would say, okay. And that's it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go any. Uh, sometimes I wouldn't even go way back. Well, did they try to flirt with you at all? No. Okay. So, did you come across? Because especially on Meet Twenty Four, I know there's a lot of uh, people that trade images of that type of stuff. Yeah. Did anybody send you? And you know, you mentioned you haven't seen child, but I, I think you probably have if you if you're getting this up. I probably have. Probably have, but I haven't done it in the past year. You haven't seen child the past year? I don't think I have. When have you seen child? Probably. I mean, last year. And what was what? Where and what? Where and how? What? I don't remember. I, really, I know it was on the internet. 
I mean. And yeah, how did you know it was kids? Was it that obvious? Like, was it like prepubescent kids? It was pretty much, yeah. Like, did it look like obviously an elementary school kid? No, it didn't seem that young, but I mean, it probably, if I had a remember correct, 15, 16 years old. Okay, and how did you know they were 15, 16? Because they, they, I just, you could, sometimes you could see it in the face. And also to see in the, in the, in the way in the way they, they are. Okay. They act and where they, you know, the body. Was this like on or was some obscure site? It was on some, I, I it was on, no, but it was on some kind of uh, other website. Okay, I, but. I, I really don't remember. But was it like any of like the big names? Like, okay, so it was it some like, it was some site that nobody's probably ever heard of? Okay. So did any of the videos in the title say this was a 15 year old or a 16 year old? No? Okay. Did you see any? Maybe not. Maybe just naked pictures of like prepubescent kids. No. no, it was all just teen just stuff. Teen stuff. Okay. So when do these fantasies and these wants about like having you know having with a five year old start for you? Uh, I guess when when I started when I started talking to her, um, I may be younger. I don't. I mean, I just you know she's you know I said to her that uh, and it says in the picture uh -huh. thing, that I wanted to have and try new things and all that. Okay. And when she said that... And would you have gone as low as an infant? No. Just five years old was your limit? Yeah. Okay. Five or six. You got your phone, Pablo? How's it going? Here, make sure she's off camera. I know, but I gotta try to get maybe going. Hanging up from a good family, we raised you right. I mean, I had you. Where's my phone at? A one month old baby. I mean, how could you do this to us? From why? Why? I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I can't. I've been gone for like an hour and a half. No? Hi, it's a... Um Basically, just it's about him right here. Uh, it's about him right here. What happened? Uh, um, basically, there's an individual here who tried to solicit uh, who he thought was an eight-year-old girl for oh. and eleven and a. It, it's what street? Can you put these in here. Oh. Uh, Yes, I'm sure you'll have calls already. Um, but yes, there's an individual named James. Um, he's uh, about five foot five, and he's a uh, medium build. He's bald, and he was the one messaging who he believed to be. Um, it's going to be. Alex, A L E X. So basically, we have a group called where we throw up profiles of underage kids online that we pose as. And he was messaging um, three, well, two of the accounts, a 13-year-old and an 11-year-old, and we said we had an eight-year-old sister. And he wanted to express the wanting to all three of them and to have babies with the, you said eight-year-old? Yes. With the eight-year-old and have with those babies when he was five. And what we do is we approach him on camera and hope to get a confession out of them. And in this case, he was very honest with us and I think he needs some help too. Um, and we turn over that evidence to law enforcement and um, we see what you guys can do with it. And we've done this all across the country and we have arrests in Florida as well. It's cool, but it's not like an LLC or anything like that, but we call ourselves
He's still there, sir. Got it. And he also tried to um, solicit nudes from who he thought were those kids. Obviously, we didn't provide those um, for obvious reasons, but um, he did try to ask for nudes. And um, yeah, I mean, he said he said he wanted to have with these kids, and uh, he's being very honest about it and forthcoming, which is good. So, but yeah, we're just a little bit to the side of Frank's restaurant. At the It's yeah, it's, it's the Frank's Restaurant Parking Center or sh Shopping Center. Sorry, but it's yeah, it's at the. It's like when you see the, if you're coming on the if you see the Circle K, you make a right. It's the Roost Restaurant Entertainment Center. It, it's like it's like next to Frank's Restaurant, and if you're looking at Frank's Restaurant, like you're about to go in, it's on the left. Say again. Um, if they're close, uh, they can just. If they're close, they can just come. Oh uh, no, we haven't talked to any cops yet, like in person. Oh, uh, what what about him? Oh yeah, yeah, no, he's like, yeah, no, he's he's like he he accepts he he messed up really bad. Uh, he's f five foot five. He's white, uh, medium build, and uh, he's wearing a Rumble.com t-shirt. Um, it's white. What, what do you have under that shirt? Um, and then a, then a, a, a thin blue line shirt. He's wearing jean shorts. You're how old? Thirty-seven. Thirty. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. What's your date of birth? Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. But they're on their way. Um yeah, basically they have some other calls to take care of and they'll be on the way. So they they had calls before this, but or they, they we I had somebody call them before this, but I was just kind of wanted to really give them the full thing here. Uh, but yeah, dude, I mean, ha is there any situation that, you know, because obviously the cops are going to talk to somebody. Yeah. Maybe I even will. Is there any situation where there's been like an underage person and maybe your hands went in the wrong place? No. No? no. Okay. Have you ever had urges to do that? No. Okay. So it's been online and you wanted to be in person with this situation. Okay. I mean, are you around children at all? There is kids, there's kids that are that I, that I know family of that I, I have my own nephew and nieces. I've, I we just got back from Arizona, but my my uh, granddaughter is 17. Okay. And he wasn't. We were all together as a family. Right, 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 right. And he hasn't been back to New York to see the younger ones. We okay. Were, uh, four and eight, uh, New Jersey to my other daughter since last. Uh, December we went back to, I, he didn't go, I went yeah. to go see the grandchildren. So what, what kids are you talking about that you're around? I was just saying that, I was trying to say that I have nieces and nephews. Yeah, but, but when's I mean, the last time you were around them? Last year, well, last time. You've been living here for two freaking years, so when's the last time you were there? I, um, he asked me, have I, am I around nieces and nephews? Well, I'm not saying in general. about now? No, 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 
I, I'm sorry. I, I understand the question, but no, not in the, not in the, not now, not in the past two three years, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well. I mean, dude, some of some of this stuff. I mean, she she said she was thirteen in the first second message here. And I know, I know. They even tell them how old they even. Oh yeah, very are. specific, very specific. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not that. Well, basically, the setup is that I know because I watch people on TV. You're right, right, so, right. You know that they pretend there's a woman right now that's a mother and she acts like she's a teenager and. Same, same situation. Right, yeah, pretty much. But in this case, saying, like, you know, he wants to have babies with a kid, an eight-year-old, then say, then if, then have, like, those kids when they're five. I mean, that's, like, that's dangerous to have her out, like, for sure. Well, he just went to his doctor the, the other day because we think that when we were in Arizona, my daughter was talking to him, and he told her that he's, and, you know, he, I, he shouldn't be. He lives the life of a luxury. He lives in a condo on the ocean, mm -hmm. and we goes out on boats, and he goes out with us to dinner, and he's got the life of any young man would enjoy having. Right. For whatever reason, in his little brains that don't click, whatever's happening up there. So, the we were the doctor just put him on some type of medication to keep him. What is that? What is the medicine? Two exopols So he has to take that with him. Does he have to take that? Well, I could talk to the cop. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think y'all know his situation better than yeah. we would, but I mean. Yeah, so he made, you know, he told the doctor that he had, and they put him on, and, and the he's also. Gives a, he says, I need to see it. Well, let's see how the medicine works first. Like, he needs to talk to somebody. Medicine, he don't need medicine. He needs the medicine and to talk to somebody. Right. Come on, honey. Let's go inside. Well, the cops are, they don't know when because he said that um, they have a couple of other calls. Yeah, I have a few they calls to take care of. Well, I didn't say two or three hours, but they, you know. I can't. Could be. Yeah. I mean, James, like, you don't, this doesn't only affect children, dude. It affects literally everybody around you because now they have a lot to answer for because I'm sure they're, I can see they're well respected amongst their peers and, you know. Right. It's not a paying job. I do it for the you know, community. Oh, absolutely. And like, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, if this gets out, I, I'm sure, like, if people found out how you guys handle this, you're going to be blameless. Because, like, I, I promise you. Like if there was a million, and there's not a million people watching, but if there was a million people watching, I don't think anybody would blame you guys for this because you guys, you guys obviously did a great job taking care of him. Um, you guys gave him everything in life. You know, I wish my parents would give me a condo on the beach, but you know, I'm just. It's, we bought a unit for him. Yeah, so literally. Absolutely, absolutely. Because he would literally be homeless or dead without you guys, and I think like. What if we promise to bring him tomorrow to the police station and have him booked? That's literally between you and the cops. I mean, I can't make him stay here or anything like that. But yeah, the cops did, did say they're on the way. Well, they did say they have this call on the list whenever that happens. But um, yeah, I mean, that's like. I wonder if it's the uh, local. To I mean, I just don't want everyone to come out and then okay. see if getting uh, well, we're well done in there. Have you, have we boxed up all the food. Nobody's okay. eating. Well, basically, how about. I mean, if you. How about we can, I mean, you're an adult, we can walk to the Circle K and just say we're over there, so it's kind of away from all this. Cause yeah, I, well, we have to go that way to, to get out of here. I mean, we can go in the neighborhood, too. Like, we can literally just go anywhere, <laughs> like, away from this, because I definitely know y'all don't want people seeing this, which is totally understandable. Tom's in there, too. Where's James? My last vision, like my son Anthony, Two, three years ago, I had to see him in a coffin. Now I got to see you being arrested. That's wonderful. <sighs> I mean, James, do you just want to kind of want to go in the neighborhood so you know your parents' friends don't have to see? You? All right. All right. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, yeah, let's just kind of go away. Dude, your parents are awesome, man.
Yeah. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call your. I'm gonna call your dad the Godfather. That's really. People call him Tony Soprano. Though. Dude, is he Italian? No, he's well, I guess is it an Italian name, right? That'd be a British name or something. I want to get. I want to get adopted. Goddamn. Yeah, I'll get adopted. Oh, they're calling. No, so you. you oh yeah, yeah. Where we're at. All right. And was like, you know, she's like, where am I going to get my, your stuff? Where am I going to put it? Well. We're gonna, we're gonna, I said, just put it in storage and I'm getting it down. Yeah. I, I lose my ass, so I lose everything. Hey, how's it going, sir? It's Alex Rosen. I just called you a few minutes ago about like the guy trying to meet an underage kid. Yeah. It was the roost. The f yeah. Yeah, so basically. Basically, his parents are like with a bunch of friends right now, and he's kind of out of the restaurant. And they don't like, you know, obviously they don't want their friends seeing what's going on. So, I mean, I just told them we can move over into the neighborhood here. So we're gonna be on a and okay. now we're right in front of a. We're gonna be like, just if you go to that house, you'll see us. Like literally, you can't miss us if you go there. Got it. All right, no problem. I'm just letting them know. Yeah. Uh, everything okay so far? Nobody's trying. Yeah, no, it's all it's all peaceful. Yeah, everyone's. Um, yes. Is it the corner house of people? That looks like. It's if that if that looks correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a 2-4 across the street. Yeah, yeah, it's just basically you were in front of that, too. I see. Okay, I got it. All right, perfect. I'll get that in there. Uh, if anything changes, just definitely give us a call back right away. All right, cool. Thanks, man. All right, thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah, I mean, dude, uh, like... I mean, how long, you know, after I get booked, after one of the prices in the BS? Well, I don't know if you're going to get booked. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, probably, I would assume you would. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Well, I'll say, I mean, I give it like a 90% chance you will get booked either tonight or some other day. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would just like, just kind of like you are with us, like just be honest yeah. as possible. Kind of taught to be yeah. Honest. What does your dad do for work to like? He owns a garage door company in New York. Owns oh, a what company? Garage door company. Rental company? Garage door. Garage door rentals? God, no, garage door company. Oh, he garage door company. He used to own it. Him and, him and my uncle. He seems to be down with the cause. Really yeah. Well, let me let me get his number. <laughs> and I'm just not, you know, now I'm my juice senses are. Now I'm gonna be either homeless or just somewhere out that I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe Tyrion Lannister would, you know, I didn't he die in Game of Thrones? They may need to fill in. I don't know. But I mean, I just, I just, I don't know. Yeah. You know, no one's gonna see. Someone's gonna find. They're gonna find out eventually. Yeah. And I'll be freaking thrown out. The Hobbit needs to find a new hobby. Yeah, new job. Yeah. I might have to go back to New York. So where in New York did y'all live? Uh, Montreal. Oh yeah, on Long Island, right? Thanks, man. Okay. Yo, how much you gonna let you know when the cops come and need that Rumble shirt back? Yeah, it's fine. All right, cool. You can take it. All right, that's my I favorite. Too, I have too many shirts already. <laughs> Dude, so, so I gotta ask, like, why are you so honest? I mean, we've never, I mean, we've done this hundreds of times and you've been very honest about yeah, all of it. Gonna eventually come out. Wow. I mean, look, I think he's honest. Can we share this video with like everybody else we confront? So we get well, people guess, to admit to some other f stuff, but they never say the full truth. No, I mean, I, like my mother used to say to me, truth is eventually gonna come out. Most tr truthful person I've ever talked to, really, honestly. You know, you should, you could, you would be a great politician because in the end they're all, yeah. but you'd be the most honest one. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like out of all the people going to Epstein Island, you would say, oh, yeah, I got a massage from a five-year-old. I definitely did it, you know? Yeah. So, I mean. I mean like I said, it's eventually going to come out and they're going to, they have proof ready. Sure. So, 
Well, I, I appreciate your honesty, man. And I'm sure, I'm sure like, you know, if or when this goes to like a judge and a jury, I'm sure they would appreciate the honesty, you know, yeah. obviously they're. And then it's going to come, I mean, and was going to ask, where's James? Where's James? Yeah. My dad's going to have to, you know, eventually tell him. Absolutely. And, you know, if this video somehow gets spread, whatever, um, when they see how your parents reacted to it, I, nobody is going to blame them. And that's no, awesome. I do not blame, I do not blame them. Yeah. Blame yeah. Look at the cops from, like, in Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to tell him, yes, I did the crime. Arrest me. They would arrest, arrest him. Arrest me. Just, I'm going to arrest me. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brother, uh, she said, my brother, Anthony passed away. Mm -hmm. My brother Chris, I don't even talk to him. I haven't talked to him because. Are these your are these adopted? Are they adopted, adopted too? My, All adopted. My, bro my brother Anthony's adopted. Uh huh. But he's my my mother's Luann's real son. Uh huh. Chris is adopted. She adopted, they adopted her, him too. Does your dad have any kids of his own or? No? Okay, it's all, all adopted. Yeah. Um, but Chris has been in jail, he's been in, you know, rehab, and he still is, but in North Carolina, and that's a different story. And then my mom's like, and now you hear my mom, she's like, you know, I, I had one son, I had Anthony in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the cemetery, and I only have one in jail. Mm hmm. I'm like, yeah. Jeez Louise, man. Here, I'm going to scratch my back on this pole real quick. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, who cares about tetanus? We're freaks. Yeah, well, I mean, geez Louise. I mean, so do you consider yourself like a... I just consider myself a, paint, a, a person that is a, how do we say, a creep? Also yeah. A little, a little bit, but not much. I mean, have you ever like sat and thought to yourself like I'm a... No, I haven't. Okay. I just knew, I just... I knew I, I was doing the wrong thing. But okay. I kept doing it. Like, I mean, I mean, but do, do you think you are for like wanting to, I mean, five year old? Of course, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so basically, if this all went to plan, and, you know, obviously, I mean, obviously, I don't think you can, I don't think you can get away with getting an eight year old pregnant for too long, no, but. Yeah. It, You've seen that happen. Yeah. But, but I mean, is this is this like I mean, is all this would I mean, uh, if it could happen, is this what you wanted? You know, like I said, some part of my brain was telling me to do it. Mm -hmm. Half of it was telling me not to do it. Well, obviously, step one, the stuff that you wanted. But like, I mean, did you like? Did you want this to continue? Did you want this to? Did you want to eventually make a family with them if they were willing to? No, you just wanted. To f them, that's it. Yeah, well, I guess, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, still, even an eight-year-old. I know that you know. was a little, yeah, I know. But I stopped talking to her. I stopped talking about that one. I mean, I, I, I know. I, I yeah. Found out about Emma. Got it. But, yeah. I mean, geez, Louise. So I gotta ask, like, why is you know I I can see how five-year-olds different than an infant. Like, you know, they're both very young and sick, honestly. But like, I can see how it's different. You know, yeah. so. I, how come five is your limit, but maybe not like, but you, you said four, like you were specific about, I want a five-year-old. Yeah. So why not four or three? I, I just, I guess maybe that's way too, you know, it's not really, you know, you're willing to go. That's how young you were willing to go? Yeah. But I mean, like, but, but you see what I'm saying? Like, why? Why? If you're going to go five, why don't you go in two or one? Yeah, but like, 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 why, like, give me your best answer. Why do you think it was five? I mean, if she said I had a four-year-old sister, what do you think you would have said? I probably would have said, let's see, four years old, mm -hmm. I'll be saying, okay. Would you have probably, would you sexualize them in the same way? If it, if it came to that and it actually it was in person, mm -hmm. then maybe, I don't know. So it's a possibility you could have a four-year-old? Okay. Very slim chance. But sure, sure. So what about a three-year-old? No, so you, you, realistically, you think four would probably be the lowest you'd go. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. It's just so hard to th like. It's just hard for me to conceptualize that this honest guy right here, coming from a good family, would just go. I mean, it, it's it's a monstrosity, man. It really, it really is. It really is. When 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 they go back inside, my they're gonna say, "Where's James?" I know. What happened? Yeah.
You know, my dad's gonna Poor. But I know my dad's gonna say, oh no, he's just, he's something happened, he's gonna, he's talking. Well, yeah, because he's like a big shot in the community. He doesn't want this coming out. My, my mom's just saying No, he, you know, something happened, he got, he got, he got in trouble with something. Um, we should make something. Because the Rumble Thank Party, you. the Rumble Party van came and took him. Eventually, you know, it's gonna come out. And, <laughs> yeah. You should have uh, got like, like hats and like thumb fingers of rumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little pedants. <laughs> rumble. 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 rumble! Yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, I'm not going to post it on you, but maybe we could post it on YouTube and say if it's a rumble employee. Maybe YouTube would put it to the top and allow it to catch it again. Oh, do you think you can shout out local store? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. It's local segment. All right, do, do you, I mean, do you support what we do, though? Of course. Okay. So do you mind, like, shouting out our locals and just saying you should join locals for $7 a month so you can support these kids' mission to go across the country? Say basically say, basically say, can you join locals for $7 a month? Uh, join locals. Yeah, join locals for 7 bucks and, uh, oops, oops, sorry. All right, we got to get this, we got to get this all in one shot because we were trying to do it out here. Cut, cut. <laughs> no, you got to turn the hat backwards. I have one drink, one drink in me, young. Cut, make her come back in. Okay. What was it again? <laughs> Two drinks in you now. Yeah. I thought it was one. No, I had one earlier. Earlier. One drink here. One Too drink drunk now. to remember. Uh, I'm a little tipsy, all right? All right, all right. I'm able to walk back and forth, no problem. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, so, what was it? so basically, okay, say, can you join the locals for $7 a month? It really helps us out travel. It really helps the boys out travel the country and catch the worst. Yeah, uh, join, um, you know what, just screw it. I don't have, I told you, I can't think, I can't think. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it was. Okay, can you just say, can you just say, like, can I just, can I just say, sure, absolutely. <laughs> Give the actor some, <laughs> some space. Line. <laughs> Give him the line. Catch feet Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> Post catch bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom, but not for long. Freedom! <laughs> nice! Alright, we should go away from the pool if it's starting to lighten. Alright, let's uh, kind of just go like under here or something. All right, here we go. Take three. Take three. Take three and a half. Oh well, that seems a little bit specific about your preference here. Okay, go ahead. Um, just just say you should join the lo join the locals. Only seven dollars a month. It helps us travel the worst, travel the most, and catch the sickest. Join the locals. Say, say, yeah, spend seven dollars a month. Uh, so join the local men. Uh, go around the world and save justice. Okay. That's better than how. No, we'll roll, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with I it. I kind of said it, okay? He yeah. said it in a different way, but I said it. Yeah, he did yeah. his best. Leave him alone. He did his best. Leave him alone. <laughs> Too good to me? I think that's good enough. Okay. So what's your favorite rock band, homie? Do, what do you listen to? What music do you listen to? Rock. Uh, well, rock and roll. Like, what, like who? Uh, let's see. We got uh, Death Leopard. Death okay. Leopard. Okay. Like, like, like You're f -f fooling around with underage kids here. Yeah, I know. Don't ask me. Okay. Don't ask why, but yeah. Uh, um, Leopard, uh, Aerosmith. Uh, okay. Oh, you see, you and Steven Tyler have some similarities yeah, with I think so, there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what I'm just saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. It's pretty much a lot of music I listen to. Just Are you going to make your own Aerosmith song, Kid Looks Like a Lady? Oh, trust me. Uh, All right. He said Led Zeppelin. What's your favorite Led Zeppelin song? I don't know. I haven't heard. I haven't listened to the Led Zeppelin in a while. All right. Um, well. Damn. Okay. Well, anyway, um. All right, you're getting my shirt sweaty, dog. My my dad's bald too. You really look like a miniature version of my dad. <laughs> All right, that still smells good. All right, this is like, this is polyester. Come on, dude. This is polyester? No, I think that's cotton. All right, good. Good, good, good. So, like, are you vaccinated with, for COVID? Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you for Trump or 
Biden? Trump or Biden? Trump. Okay. 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 Well, he's half based. Sure. Well, I wouldn't even say Trump's yeah, based yeah, anymore. Yeah, you can get yourself too. Uh, so, are your parents like tr Trump or Biden? I mean, I guess they're, I guess they moved from New York, so they'd probably be right wing, right? They're tr they're Trump. Yeah, it makes sense. They moved from New York. So, you all moved here two years ago. So during the end of 2020? During like, was it because of COVID and all that? No, it wasn't. No. Well, it was still going on COVID down here, but it wasn't because of COVID. No, but I mean, like, did they just say, like, I'm sick of New York because of the COVID and move down here? Or did they just, are they just, you know, doing like. Because well, they came down here, they, uh, excuse me, they came down here and rented, and they rented their condo, their place in. Uh huh. For, you know, whatever amount of money. Sure. And they rented it in there. Say, so my mom's like, hi, oh, I love this place. I love Florida. I love the condos. So. They went up and sold the house, put it up for sale, sold it, and bought a place down here. Got it. So when he gave you the call for the package, did that seem suspicious? You don't know. Uh, kind of, yeah. Kinda. What did you think? I'm like, who gave me a check with $300 in a check? Right. Did you think it was going to be this? No. Yeah. So you didn't, like, put two and two together, like, I uh, I'm messaging underage kids, uh, and maybe somebody with the package wants to talk to me about no, that? I mean, no. I didn't put. I guess I didn't put two together, but I mean, I did say to myself, it could be anything. It could be, you know, it could be bogus. That's why I said to you, it's kind of when I talked to you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, is it bogus? Is it something, something weird? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Well, geez, Louise, friend. I mean, geez, Louise, like. Oh man, dude. Well, I mean, I feel sorry for your parents, dude. I mean, I don't want. Stinks. I mean, I would say they'll have some explaining to do, but they really don't. I mean, they they really just did a yeah, absolutely. Um, wow. All right. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Ah, just like their parents' nice livelihoods. The sun's in the way. Oh. All right. So. All right. So basically. Um, is that a copper? No. So, so basically, you, you so you say you're. How, why do you think you're? I haven't seen my brother in probably. I haven't talked to him fully. I haven't seen him in probably three or four years. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen my sister Donna in probably five years. Uh huh. Because you know she. You had a problem with him and stopped talking to me. With your dad? My dad. Okay. When I say him and... Okay, dad. okay. Um, I miss my brother, Anthony. He was uh, my best friend. Uh-huh. Um, I, I, I got divorced from you know, my ex-wife because it was kind of my fault. What happened with that? She, uh, she inherited a million dollars and said goodbye. But I also didn't get along with her mother. So, oh, man, you gotta, gotta think here, man. I gotta yeah. think. So that's one. That's two. One of the reasons why. Did you get a prenup? No, she just uh, inherited a million dollars and said goodbye. Oh, so she didn't take anything from me. No. Okay, that's that's nice at least. Right. Yeah, she didn't take. Well, anything. I wouldn't take anything from me either if I had a million dollars. Yeah. So. Kings get a prenup. Yep. No, I'm just kidding. That pissed my girlfriend no, you're, off. <laughs> you're totally right. I agree. Yeah. No, I don't know. I'm wrong. I'm not gonna get a prenup. I'm, I'm upset. I don't know. Who knows? Ah, nah. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, like, typically when we feel this, like, stall for the cops, they don't know the cops are coming. How you doing? It's like, what do I even say now? Yeah. I didn't take it because I was, it says not to drink. So I knew I was going out and drinking. Yeah. So I didn't take it. But yeah, I have. Oh, and I have headaches and tremors. Okay, here, let's let them pass through here. All right, let's uh, keep your eyes away, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, I gotta ask, like, so you said that 16 year old, or 15 year old sent you a nude. Um, what did you send back to her? A nude. Okay, so you sent a nude too, also a minor too. Okay, did you show your at all to uh, to any of these girls? No. Okay.
On the phone? Yeah. No. Were you just getting aroused? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't, I mean, I was thinking, I wasn't, you know, getting, I guess, yeah. Okay, okay. Why aren't they all just dishonest, dude? Like, it's just like, I guess that would make it boring, right? But. I don't like that you got the green hat and I got the black one. No, I got both. Yo, you got, oh, oh. There's there was another one, green one? Yeah, I, I didn't see it. I thought you saw it. God damn it. I love the green one. It's so yeah, nice. It's so nice. Have you heard of rumble.com? Oh, it's a nice, pretty nice site. Oh, man. Okay, dude, you don't gotta, you don't need to stare at those teenage I'm girls. I was looking at, looking at oh. and checking to see if the cops are coming. Oh, okay. No, trust me, I looked once. Got it. I mean, dude. So, 50 cent wings. Are these boneless wings or bone in wings? They have 50 cent bones. Bone in? 50 cent wings. And that's still a thing. So, if I were to get 40 wings, I'd pay 20 bucks. I think there's a, a 10 wings, 20, 15 wings, and 20. I'm not really sure I mean, how many wings are there. So, so 15 wings for $7.50. Jesus. If that's what it comes out to, yeah. I mean. Can they just come already? Right? Or we could just go have dinner with them. I'm sure. I, I'm sure. I'm sure they'd be interested in what we do. Honestly. No, I told him. Um, can, I, can I get your? I mean, well, uh, you can just type it in. Like type it in without saying it because it's on camera. Can I get your dad's phone number? Uh, if he, if he's okay with it, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I'll just text him and say, "Hey, it's me." And just... Did he, I mean, you told me your, your number, and he was, he was gonna say, you know. That's when he for a visiting card, so I guess. Yeah, here, I'll just, let's just take it down. Here, let me just do it on your phone. Just put it on your phone, then I can text him from mine. It's a meter. Okay. It's a meter? Yeah, I meter. Okay. Here, actually, it's best you just type it in. Um, just, type, just type in his name and number, if you don't mind. I know. Probably the snowbirds on the prowl with each other. Someone stole my golf cart. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Oh yeah. So anyway. Um, I mean, dude. Yeah, I don't see why not either. It's not like we'll just. I mean, we'll just say what we do, and you know. It's, uh, All right. I mean, we'll play at least plug the rumble. You know. What the hell? What do you mean? You're not deleting anything, are you? No, I'm not deleting anything. All right. First one to say it, I actually believe it. I'm just checking my. You have a girlfriend now? Yeah. Wait a minute. You know her in person? Yeah, I met her in person. Who is this girl? She's from New York. She's a doctor. I mean, nurse. She's a nurse? She's a nurse. Is she a girl? No. Dang. What the? Where, where is she a nurse at? New York City. She works in like. So she works in. So she works in like the. She's an RN. I think she's RN or one of those. How old is she? She's 29. How'd y'all meet? 
and you all know each other in person. Yeah. Have you guys like kissed and all that stuff? Have you guys like done the deed? Mm -hmm. How is she like tall or short or? Same size as me. Can I see a picture of her? I mean, I would say the same at some point, but not really right now, you know. I mean, <laughs> thank you, baby. I'm not going to show the camera. Oh, he got you. Oh, he got you a. Got you a chocolate. Really? Yeah, here he is. Okay, he said he liked that Oreo, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And she's, so she's like, went through medical school all that. She's actually finishing up. She's going higher in the ranks. Wow. So right now, she's going to get higher. Do you have a picture of y'all together? Nah, but I just saw it today. You saw her today? Yeah. She's in New York, I thought. She came to visit. Really? Yeah. She came to visit. Was... So basically, basically you said, I mean, so Jesus Christ! So you're texting. I mean, I'm like, I mean, you know, it's it's real. I mean, so you're basically trying to f an eight-year-old as you're dating this nurse in New York. Yeah. I'm f up big time with everything. Does she know about any of that? Uh, no. No. All right. Dang, man. Freaking Rosmika. Is that her name, Rosmisha or Rosmika? She put it together. She put it together. Yeah. She seems like, like a sweet lady, dude. Damn. How long have y'all been dating for? Probably for a month or two. A month or two? Yeah, at least a month. Yeah, definitely a month. I started beginning. I started actually talking to her. You see, I went to Arizona in April. Mm -hmm. April. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, beginning of April. And you, did y'all meet in New York at all, or just Florida? She came here. I told her I would go to New York, and she's like, "Okay." But I, she's like, I, I, "But I might keep you in less. You want to take?" She has family down here. She has family down here in Florida. Uh huh. And she said, "I'll come down and visit my family, and then I'll come visit, and I'll come visit you." So this is so. Is this your first time meeting her today? Yeah. Wait a minute. So y'all have and all that. Really? No, I, I guess not. So did she meet your parents at all? My parents know about her, and I kind of made a mistake and told her something. I made, I made up, I didn't make the name up, I didn't make anything up, I just, I made her think that she asked for money, and she, and she, it was, I thought I heard her saying ask for a hundred, but it was not her, it was a friend, it was a friend asking her for a hundred. And the phone, I'm like, okay, so that's why I had told my parents that it was, it was she asked for I asked her today, I'm like, did you ask me for a hundred, even though you're a nurse, you make millions, you make more money than I do? She's like, no, no, I wasn't asking. My friend came over that day, it was in, I'm gonna have a phone call, and she asked for a hundred from me. Do you have her phone number? I do. Can I see like her phone contact? I'm not gonna get her number, but I just wanna see her phone contact. Sure. Yo, she, she. Yeah, she Goes back all the way back. Oh. No, she literally had 328 said I'm at the hotel right now. The hell? Dude, so, so you're literally you're literally importing chocolate from New York. The f yeah. what seems to be decently fine chocolate too. It is. And here I don't get it. I know. I know. Why? She's like good looking. How how tall is she? Five four, five five. Probably hundred and ninety pounds, hundred and She got some meat on the bones. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and you're squandering this for a five year old? I know, I know, I know. If, if, if she finds this out, I'm gonna be dead. Chash. The only way she's funny out is if it gets on the news. Well. No, I mean, New York news, not full on the news. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't, something tells me that like the New York Post isn't going to cover this. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that. Okay. Yeah. He'd be so fun to actually talk to if he wasn't like. Every single time. I know, I know. You're like so menty, dude. I just want to start. Can I just rub your head yeah. real quick? All right. I just want to squeeze. I, I know, I know, I know. He's <laughs> just like I can't even be mad. He's just so menty. I don't know. That wouldn't be for the, that. Wouldn't, that wouldn't be for this. Just, they wouldn't have emergency sirens. Sounds like fire too. You didn't call the cop for me, did you? I'm not having a heart attack, so I don't care. How many vaccines do you have? Huh? How many vaccines did you take? I took uh, three. Oh well, you might be. We just don't know. We just don't know. Yeah, no, I got you. No, no, I took. I pretty much took all the ones that's worth it. Two, three. I can't remember how many. Did your parents take the shot too? Yeah. My mom's a diabetic. Oh. So she had it. And that's the reason, one reason why I took the, the shots. Oh, okay. Because my mother's a diabetic. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So are you like from America? Like, is your birth mom from America or are you like Russian or something? They adopted you? My mother's from America. My real mother's from America. Okay. My, my, my uh, real, real father is from America. Uh, my family's from America. Okay. Have you ever met him? My real parents? Uh huh. No. Do you wish you have, or? Trust me, if I did, you better put me in jail for the rest of my life. Because of what she did to you? Yeah. Shot me on my head. She dropped me on my head. She when she was, shot you with a gun. Dropped, dropped, dropped you. Me my, I'm sorry. Dropped me on my head when I was a kid. Uh huh. Gave me the wrong milk. I was pronounced. I had to put a shunt in my leg. So if 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 I ever see my grandmother, you better have ten cap ten cop cars because I, I'm gonna need it. They're gonna arrest me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't, uh, I definitely don't blame you for that. That's crazy. So, are you, like, I mean, were you able always, were you able, always able to, like, kind of speak coherent sentences and just kind of, like, how much damage did, did she do? Uh, I mean, I can't remember that many things. Really? I can't. Hmm. He told me to do this, do that, do that. I would say, I would do the two first two, and then the second one, third one, I'm going to say, what was, it, what was that? Oh, so that's why with the locals thing, you were kind of just, yeah. okay. Damn, dude. Well, God, I mean, you've definitely had an eventful life, for better or for worse. Yeah, I just, you just went down the hill. Just yeah. They could, they could literally make a movie about you. Trust me, I think they can definitely make a movie out of it. I don't know everything. All right. Donde esta the police? Well, damn. You ever play any sports as a kid? He seemed like a. Yeah. Baseball, football. Yeah. And basketball. Got a thick neck. Yeah. Some neck ups. Dude, what, what, was it, what position did you play in football? Like, did you play for the high school or? I uh, just played for the uh, youth center. Okay. I played, um, sorry, I'm not deleting anything, just checking my Facebook. All right. Um, I played uh, uh, the defensive end. Uh huh. Um, I played uh, wide receiver, and that was about it. And then I got injured. Baseball, I played center field, I played third base, and first base. And really, really, really short stop? Yes, and really some kind of short stop. Okay. Just had to confirm. Oh, man. Well, um, geez, I mean, I, I must be really busy tonight. I mean, if you, I mean, can you, like, hit me in the face or something so I can say you got violence so I can come quicker? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, see, you were you, you were too honest and cordial that the cops aren't coming fast enough. Yeah, no, you should lie about it. I know, you, you should you should have just be, you should have like said like this is I don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't that's not me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ugh. 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 
So when you when we first pulled out the messages and talked to you, how like what 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 went through your like how would you feel like? Oh my God. Uh, I knew it was something. Got it. It kind of it was like weird when 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 they said to me when she said to me when someone said to me um, I'm 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 getting an Uber. I'm, the last sentence I remember it was I'm getting an Uber and and when and Haley said to me. Uh, I'm not. I'm not next. I'm not here. I'm in summer. Like, uh huh. How are you not in summer? You're in the same. Then I kind of know, like, okay, maybe it's. And then when you call, and then when you came out with the paperwork, I'm like, okay, they. Met. Then I put two and two together. Well, for someone that's bad at math, you're really out of that two and two really well. Yeah, after paperwork. Hmm. Okay. Now this is the first time we've had someone in that. <laughs> Donde esta de bleach? Where? Look, I'm starving. This is. I agree. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Let's get this over with. Absolutely. The sooner I get out, the sooner I get in jail, the sooner I can get out. That's true. Do you think your parents are going to bond you out? Oh, yeah. I think they will. You, you, you see how my, my father and mother are. Right. My mother's giving me a hug, trying to. Trust me, they don't want me in jail. Uh, I don't know. That guy's all the opposite. No, they didn't. I know my parents. I do stupid things, they help me out, and they'll, they'll say, yeah, they'll say in, in general they seem like they're not going to help me out. But see, if you remember, she didn't, she was saying that she doesn't want, she's seen her, her son, Anthony, in, in court, and she, now she's got a son in jail. She doesn't want to see her son in jail. You look kind of devious, and like, oh yeah, they're going to get me out. Uh, I know, I know, I, I'm pretty, I mean, I don't know how, but that, I mean, my parents have, have enough money. Well, yeah, I mean, to bond you out, yeah, they have enough money. Out. Yeah, no, absolutely. And they'll, and they'll get me in. I might just go to, you know, have, you know, uh, you know, whatever. It's my first, well, first time in jail. My sure. Life. And, you know, I've seen, sh I mean, I know they're not real, but I mean, catch a Right, right, right. I mean, that's got to be, I mean, that's real. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, um, catch a I've seen them the first time get caught, get arrested, sorry, get arrested, and then, if they, and then maybe get a, either, Either if it's the first offense, first offense, then they get bailed out and then go to like their, you know, therapy or something. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't remember exactly, but it, it, it just depends where they are. I mean, we've had we've had people that we've caught. They go to jail. They. Just why? They they go they go to jail. They bond out, and then when they're on bond, they message another one of our accounts and they go back to jail. Yeah. But I mean, I, this is the first time, and I'm like, you know what? If I can get out and not be on, you know, if, uh, register, if I didn't, if I don't have to, I just hope, I don't care. If if I get bond, okay. I don't care. If I get bonded out and everything's fine, mm -hmm. and then I'm, this is it. Then I'll go, if I can go to therapy for this, and not have to worry about, you know, yeah. registering as a. Well, you know how everything works, right? When you bond out, that's not over. It I know, means, no, I, okay. I know that. Okay. I'm just saying okay. in general. I yeah. don't care, as long as, you know, whatever the bond's going to be, whatever it's going to be, the next thing, next thing is, whatever the heck I do. I mean, do you, do you, does the person that does the first time, I mean, the first time, do, do, do they, do they automatically have to be registered as a offender? Um, it depends on the state laws, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know in Florida. Has it gone in effect? Yeah, the, you know, this was a real, that's true. If this was a real five-year-old, you could have been put I mean, that's crazy. I don't think, in, I don't think intent is a death penalty. Well, no, it's not. But, I mean, yeah, I think was, you have to actually do it. But, for, I mean, I'm really logic, you know. I think, I think it would have made clear intent, too. But, yeah, I mean, dude, if this was real and they came out, that, that could have, dude, you could have been put to death for this. I forgot we are in Florida. Yeah. Oh yeah, he signed it into law. Florida has a very good governor if you're on the right side of the law. So. Right now I'm on the the other side of the law. Right. No, I mean I just. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything on your phone you should get rid of, like pictures or images that could be like child? Thing? No. No. Is anybody called the No. No. I'm gonna keep it right here so you can see. All right.
That was the, uh, that was California. You don't need to explain your razor. I, I'm I got just, you. I'm just trying. I'm <laughs> okay, trying you're good. Razor. Yeah, no, I know. No, oh, that's not. That just, that's Las Vegas. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, I don't have anything. I got you. I'm just, I just wanted to make sure that I'm. Is there ever times where you deleted child from your phone? No. no. Because I know they'll go through my phone and check the whole thing. Okay. So, so what, what, what happened um, when that 15 year old sent you the nude? What did you do with that photo initially? I had it, I had it on my phone. You I saved it, like to your gallery? I saved it because I thought, it, because you know, I wanted to check it out and just, just have it for later down the road. I know, I know. But, um, I got you. When I found out that, when, when, I, when I got in trouble, when she told me, she said, you know, I'm gonna do this thing. If you don't, if you don't send money, I'm gonna put it over the news. I'm like, you know what? I'm, you know, when I got and when it ended, when she, when she gave up and all that, I stopped. I just, I deleted, I got rid of the phone, deleted everything. Okay. Response time be atrocious. Fakes, fakes. What time does Frank's close? I'm, I really want those 50 cent wings. I don't know. Big time! What is your order? Uh, chicken Colombo. I guess when your dad has a $25,000 watch, you're not trying to get 50 cent wings. He likes to be cheap sometimes. He does? Yeah. He made sure to tell me he had a twenty-five thousand dollars watch. He told you he had a twenty. Who did? I think he, I have a feeling he tells it to everybody. He tells it to everybody. But he told you. Yeah. Man, I couldn't. He usually doesn't say anything. He's like, he's like, I, I give him a good life. I got twenty. I'm not like he's got a twenty-five thousand dollars watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Trust me. Let me see real quick. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand dollars watch. Uh, and hopefully a seven-dollar a month local subscription. I, I really hope. I mean, you know. Uh, did they ever buy you a car? I can't drive that. Medical? Yeah. So you can't drive because of medical or because of mental? Medical. Medical? Okay. When I was young, I had... Ah, okay. And he's got... And he's... he's not the... Not the Florida governor, but... Government, but... The New York governor. Government told me I can't... I can't drive. I can't have a license. Cuomo. So what's the best me? Yeah. Aside from the car, yeah. Ah, uh, the most expensive? Yeah. I think that's it. I haven't spent that much, that, kind of, that much money. I mean, my parents bought a con three condos and they also bought a, they have, you know, other cars and stuff like that. But yeah. Me? I haven't spent much. I try to save the money. Nice. Even though I, I, even though I don't, because I have to pay right now, I owe my parents fifteen hundred for the, the Arizona flight. Mm -hmm. in Arizona, California. Oh yeah, dude, that's not us. That's them. <laughs> no, no, we're just. No, that's not us. I was us. like, oh, but I read it and said that I have to hand it you. Oh no, no, no! I, I don't live here. You gotta go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, so an actual pizza delivery guy? Doordash. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got to make sure you're not receiving any cheese pizza, especially before the cops come. No, I'm not. I'm not. All right. I haven't called anyone. Not until I get my own phone call. I would have taken it. Been like, oh, thank you, pizza. Bro, it's a pizza delivery guy driving a Corvette. DoorDash. Door DoorDash. Yeah. I would drive something a little bit more fuel efficient. If I was delivering food. Just yeah. Do yeah. I used to deliver in the Suburban. It was ridiculous. It was such a dumb move. I would like lose money on half the deliveries if they didn't tip me. Yeah, true. Did y'all order? What the fuck are they looking at? Oh, Jesus. Someone ordered pizza here. That's what it is. Hey, hey, sir, hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 yeah, come here, come here, come here. Because we said it, oh, it was muted, whatever. I think they see. Here, here, come here, come here, come here. I'll show you what's happening. Yeah. Dude, okay, so we're kind of, we're kind of streaming like a being cause. I guess someone ordered pizza here. Did you get paid yet? Huh? Did you get paid yet? Um, did I get paid? 
Yeah. yeah. All right, dude. Go ahead and uh, how much? How much was the order? Uh, it was six dollars. Six dollars. Mm -hmm. You six dollar DoorDash order. Yeah. Do you have Cash App? I do. Okay, just go ahead and request request the money from me, dude. I'll just request ten from me, dude. I'll, I'll pay you. Okay. Yeah. So, what, what do they order exactly? Um, this is, uh, I have not some chicken bites. I guess. Let me see. Wait. Let me see. Let me see. Who did they say the order was for? <laughs> Wait a second. They ordered fried pickles. <laughs> All right, dude. Go go ahead and request ten dollars. I'll put in my cash app. When I get my phone back, I'll I'll pay you the ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dude, I I know because we're standing here and it's kind of being live streamed, so that's that's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. just request ten. I got you. I got you. So you did not get paid for this yet? No. Did they did they pay for the pickles in advance? They paid for everything. Oh, they paid for everything. Yeah. Did they did they tip you? Huh? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Uh. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They they meant it for us. Sure. Just believe me. Believe me. Okay. All right. All right. I I could complete it. I guess. I mean, if they paid for it, yeah, complete it. Yeah, this is who they got it for. I think I think they probably put it over there. Um, <laughs> okay, it's uh, I mean, he already got paid here. I'm gonna be requesting ten on Cash App. Oh um, man, I, I don't even know what's going on. Let's just run it up. Here you go, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. you got lucky. Here you go. All right, you too. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, got you. I know. Two, we're we're in the same boat as you, man. But I was like, how much was the order? He's like six bucks. I was like, oh, I already know what this is gonna be. All right, well. You didn't, you didn't get to eat it, did you? Come on. I don't think we need any of this. <laughs> Gotta cut down on this, you know. Alright, we'll, 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 we'll have it later. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we kind of got, yeah, I mean. Yeah. This is from Cracker Barrel? Yeah, Cracker Barrel Country Store, okay. Oh, the Joey's World Tour, okay. Mm, put it back in the bag. And then just scarf it down off camera. Wait, oh, okay, it says paid by Do you know anybody named by First name I assume it's him Last name. Oh, oh Yeah <laughs> That's so right. Still want him to request the cash app I was gonna <laughs> give him some Whatever, more gas money for me Door Dash driver just came in a Corvette Yeah, yeah, I was like, he'll be fine Dang are the cops? No, no. All right. Well, I mean, now you're getting a taste of what it's like to be homeless, I guess. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I got one before. All right. Well, um, geez, Louise. Want to give him a ring again? I'm literally just letting it. Like, I don't know what to do. All right. Oh, the trick calling bad now. No, no, no it's you calling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I think they probably know who we are too over there. Yeah. Hi, it's still a. Uh, We're just wondering if there's an ETA on the cops coming because we called like close to, well, I think over an hour ago at this point. Okay, can you repeat that address for verification? Um, it's on. It's, uh, it's in the, we're just in the street, so we're, like either either or works. Okay, I got it. I got it. Go ahead. Give me just one moment.
guy shot like everything, what dude. What is your name, sir? Uh, Alex. You're gonna be waiting here for hours. All right, I information here. Seems like it. Oh. Say it one more time, ma'am. I do have your information here. It does look like your call is still holding. Really? You have a very high call volume. You think it would be quicker if we just can come to the station? I'm sorry, what was that? You think it would be quicker if we can just come to the station? Right now we have a very high call volume. So once our deputy is clear from the high priority calls in the area, they'll be sent out your way. All right, I mean, do you know how many calls are in front of us? As of right now, we have a lot of calls holding. But once our calls are available, they'll be sent up. That way. What do y'all do? Okay. All right. One sec. Uh, all right. Well, thanks. You're welcome, sir. All right. Bye. Jeez, Louise, dude. We're gonna end the stream. We catch a child. Probably knew it. Yes, that's him. <laughs> um. Yeah, but don't, obviously, don't like do anything uh, bad to him. Oh yeah, no, we don't. Yeah, it's literally a zoo. You can get close, but you can't touch. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are y'all on? You heard of Rumble.com? Yeah, you know, we made, we, made, we made more of the shirt, too. we got to move off of YouTube, man. Yeah, just go to, like, rumble.com and get the app, whatever. Just type in... <laughs> yeah. Wait, sorry, can you say that again? Here, rumble.com. So you can, get the, you can get the app. Poachers, like you poach an elephant. You play Skater Dean, don't you? Oh, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's definitely not the goal here, but... Um, Your name Brandon? Brandon? No. Who's Brandon? Who's Brandon? Oh, head who's in office right now. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Run. All right. No, bro, there was this car coming. The kids like don't look behind you. Like, what? They, 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 they look like twenty. They like don't look. Like, what you are. Yeah, y'all too. Right. Yes, go to Rumble YouTube. Go to do what? New office. Why couldn't we just you know, like, go out and do a freaking cop, cop uh, I think we should. I mean, if you're willing to get in the car with us, we can go. I'm wearing a chick screen. What the hell? I mean, yeah, if, if you're willing to if you're willing to do all that, I mean, you know, if, if you if you consensually say on camera we can take you to the station, we can, you definitely can. But I just, you don't, I just don't want to catch a kidnapping charge, you know, because... No, I, I can, yeah, of course I consent. To okay. Cop, cop, cop. Yeah, let's do it the gals. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Sure. All right, we can just uh. Yeah, I can just take the headphones out. No worries. I'll hang on to it. You have the keys. Just get it from my pocket here. Here, actually, here. Put, put. Can you put the shirt and the messages in the car? I'm just tired of holding it. You can get the just put the pickles in there too. All right. Yeah, let's get this damn thing. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't get any worse than this. I mean, it can, but how worse can it get? Well, penalty for actually doing it. But I'm saying if I... Oh, I'm just I'm saying. saying. From now until what's the next, you know, how... No, you just got to, I mean, you just got to get over the hump and then fix your... That's pretty much what's going to happen. Yeah, I, I hope. No, I won't. That's why I'm... I should have took, but I mean, it says do not take away alcohol. Oh, well, I look at you. I already had alcohol in my body. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I was thinking I was going to do it tomorrow, you know, start tomorrow. God, dude, this camera's getting hot. What are you doing to me? going to be like a freaking Hiroshima victim, man. going to have all this radiation poisoning. So this, is how, so this is how they feel holding it. I can't even hold it for two seconds. I'm like a limperist. Can I get that for you, Ian? Absolutely, man. And I watch you all the time, man. Yes. <laughs> here, I'm just going to set these down uh, right here so we don't get you. Dude, it's feeling like that, man. Crazy. What's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much for your support, yeah, man. What's your name, ma'am? Matt. I'm Beverly. Oh, Beverly. Nice to meet you, Beverly. I'm nice Alex. Nice to meet nice you all. You all take care. Thank Bye. you, Matt. Yep.
Hey, do you know if we're in sheriff's jurisdiction or cops? You're in sheriff. Sheriff's? All, pretty much all of Florida except for a couple areas are all like county cops. Okay. So this is Pasco County. They, they only have like four cops per shift for the whole. Oh my God. That's what I'm telling you, you should be waiting for hours. What a joke. Okay, so go, so the sheriff's office is in Hudson here? Yeah, there's one. I'm from Spring Hill, which is right up. I think there's one right down here on county line. Okay. A little bit further. Got it. On the, on the right. I'm okay. Right there. Thank you, Matt. Yep. All right, well, you can always interview me about my deepest, darkest secrets. Here. All right. I really don't know what else I'll do at this point. <laughs> I should have. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I should have called him yesterday. I just been like, this is going to happen. It's going to happen right here. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so again, like, we're not forcing you to get in the car. You understand that, right? Okay, all right. See ya. I'll be running that way. Okay. All right, come on, hop in. Say again. You don't want him to do what? You can sit here. Oh, yeah, you sure you want to sit in the front? Okay. God damn, dude. Um, can you, uh, can you, yeah, appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we got to clean all this up. Holy cow. Um, how far is it? Seven seven miles. All right. Richie PD. Poor Richie PD. Yeah. That's not going to be it. You got to just go to Pasco County Sheriff's Office. It says it's closed. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, the sheriff's too closed like at 5.30. You think we can get some water? Are you, think, are you cool with us going to the Circle King and get some water or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's just go to get some drinks. So, do we just go? No, let's just keep waiting, I guess, because god damn, dude. It's ridiculous. Right, I'm just going to cut the camera off for now. Yeah, there's, people, there's people that are just staring at us. Yeah. I, all right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. You now, now, what you, what you guys say, say if some bird is going to be in the video, as long as he can, of course. I can send you <coughs> in the video. Okay, cool. All right. And of course, you know, we're not, at any time you can not. All right. I know. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. <clears throat> all right. Yes. What you now say to him will be in the video. So we are. We are doing we are doing live reads That's to say until the cops come. Yes, to say anything you want to James. Be my and guest. Just he's agreeing to read it. He's yeah. a roaster. Yeah, he comes he comes for y'all. Yeah, exactly. He's like a he's like a really really small Jeffrey Ross. <laughs> he's like yeah. a, He's like he's like a nicer frere. Yeah, he yeah. just roasts others, yeah. not us. <laughs> okay, you guys actually know how to spell that people don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, girls. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Wow, oh, Tingy. Okay. You can, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here. See the cameras going. So what you say will be in the video. Be my guest. All right. I have nothing to hide. I'm ready. I don't care. Yes, Anthony. Absolutely. Oh, we got another one. What now? Oh, here we go. This is your brain on CP? Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Okay, okay. Alright. This might be a Is there another one? No, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Wait, hold up. Is that them? That might be them. Why didn't you make it? No, it's a truck. Bro, this is ridiculous, it dude. Is. Wow. 
I could have been in my my condo sleeping right now. Right. No, no. Pastor Pound, you have some hooligans or they're underfunded? Excuse me. Thank you, Mean Machine, for subbing. Oh, see, so see, uh, see, uh, became Just a, like a monthly supporter. Monthly supporter. Thank you. Yeah, if you're already on locals, you want to become a monthly supporter. We get 100% of that, but you don't get any perks, which I'd rather they just have a look. But you get a badge by your name. But, um, yeah. But I consider you all, encourage you all to join locals, though. What's the difference between the other Um, locals, you just kind of get to see the stuff early. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, remember, $5 super chat. <laughs> okay. Five or four dollar super chat will get you a live read to say anything you want, and uh, he's agreeing to read it. Yeah, it's like a dunk tank, pretty much. Yeah, I know. Put myself there. All right, well, we appreciate the honesty. You can have more. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, just eat, this eat up, eat up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely especially up. when I have only I have two things that I call. Not now, I'm not drinking any. This is. Well, here. We, there's no alcohol in the car. I'm just saying, I'm just giving you a heads up. Just this is pure. Oh, so, oh my god. What now? Okay. Yeah, let me. Oh. Wait, was that done? It's because it's not popping up. What happened? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, right, yeah, no, it's good to go. All right, here. Mm -hmm. Read, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, my fault. Oh, because right. I guess it pops up when it's five, but yeah, I know, it's cool. Ah, uh, okay, cool. okay. I've seen like one dollar ones. Yeah, I guess it's a new thing now. All right, let me see. All right, this one right here. The eight cruise one. Read it out loud. If you want. Of course. My, it's, it's all volu voluntarily. Yeah. Yeah, right. uh, the one you have, wait, that one? Yeah, A-Cruise. 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 I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You're good, yeah, you're good, dude. I can't eat. I can't sit. It, it says wow. I know. I'm, I'm, reading, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Okay. I know. Well, can can you? Caillou. Caillou. I didn't even see you going down a rabbit hole. Spell understand the spelling right. Caillou. We'll call you whatever it is. Rabbit hole. Yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Tingy said. Oh, we got Tingy one. We okay. got. <laughs> First impression of Mexican and ginger. <laughs> on, the, on, on the Mexican and ginger, okay. Yeah, what are your impressions on the Mexican and ginger? I Say it to our face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mexican and ginger. Yeah. I have no problem either way. <laughs> okay. Okay, sweet. Yeah, see? See, that's my girlfriend. She has more problems with me than you have with me. That's... Hey, listen. If you, if you spell right, I would read it and not give you a problem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I spell it right. I'm putting this on the floor right now. Right now. All right, we're gonna do one. We're gonna do one more live read for the video. So, um, watch out. Oh, we got another five dollars. This is the last one. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. He spelled it right. No excuses oh, now. God. Uh oh. oh really? <laughs> Wait, <'cause> some, are, <laughs> some are Haley more annoying. Is this better spelling? You piece. Of <laughs> Oh, can you read the rest of what he said, please? Yeah, please? so let me read this again. Was Summer or Haley more annoying? Is this better spelling, you piece of <laughs> Go yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's better spelling, but still, nobody gives a <laughs> Oh my god. They're just gonna pay to get roasted. <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> Louise. Alright, since I talicized did it, we'll do one more. One more for. <clears throat> one more for. Can't be real life, but dude, there where are they? This is ridiculous. Yeah, like this is like the Twilight Zone. Yeah. All right, one more, one more, one more. It can be anywhere from four to five dollars or more. I mean, we're all sixteen hours from home. There's more. All right. One more. One 
one more. Boat of five. We're gonna give it two more minutes, and if we don't get another five dollar or four dollar super chat, no more live reads. Yeah, well, I mean, the guy that called you a piece of what do you have to say about that? You know, himself. All right, I really don't think thank you. Which, uh, who did you think? Well, was yeah, who do you think was more annoying, Haley or uh, Summer? Haley or Summer. Neither one of them. You didn't find any of them annoying? No. Okay. Uh. All right, give it one more minute, Gaish. Support the cause. We drive a very, 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 very long way. If you guys want to see the phone calls, go to Arizona Prevention and OPE's channel. They're both in the chats here. OP, APP, OP, 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 APP, App and OP, App, OP, App, OP, App, OP, 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, here we have the camera off, Paul. No, no more to see live reads. All right, guys. All right, what's up, guys? We're still in the car with James. You getting sleepy? A little bit. <laughs> Pablo just woke up, too. Um, we've been waiting for four hours for anybody to show up. Literally anybody. And so far, we've had, I think, two... We've had, no, we've had three subscribers show up and say hi to us. Zero cops. Yeah. I think James just wants to, the cops to come too. Yeah, I think so. I want to get this. <laughs> Even James is sleepy. <laughs> yeah, you can fall asleep, dude. You're good. Yeah. We can get wind over. Okay. Um, all right, well, you're about to go into hibernation then. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, what's this? Yeah. All right. Well, just so you know, people in the live stream, you guys are OGs. All right. Bad. What? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. And he'll be there and so he did not sound very happy at all. Oh, he didn't sound happy that he has to do his job. He did his job the first time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell him, Giants. I mean, seriously, all the people that work pay your salary. So I'm Team San Francisco now. <laughs> Actually, I'm Team I'm Team Berkeley. <laughs> and I'm joining BLM. I don't uh, care. I'm, team, I'm I'm Team I'm Team Berkeley PD. Freaking A cab. Yeah. All right, where are the chats at? Yeah, they're back there. Right. Well, the cops are allegedly coming in 10 minutes.
Are you Pablo? Pablo, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So you're not gonna basically you're not gonna try to let, let me talk to you over here, Alex, okay? I got my partner over here. Alright. Let's just go in front of my partner. Alright, that's fine. You guys have an ID on you? Yes, yes sir. right there in the car. Yeah, if you wanna grab that for me, you got no weapons on you, do you? No, no sir. Can you just get my wallet from the middle thing? Yeah. Alright, so basically <laughs> Um, we go across the country doing this, and we've been all over. Like we've had a rest in Florida, all the way to like Washington State. Like, How do you guys get finances? Oh, uh, basically like through YouTube. The majority, but we're kind of moving to Rumble now, so that's the new thing. Okay, so Rumble. you live stream your interactions and whatnot. Yeah, like basically I'm just pointing at the ground right now. Oh, okay, you're, you're fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm recording you. You can record it. Got it. Got it. So. Um, yeah, so James was messaging we believe to be an 11 and a 13 year old, two different decoys, uh, and oh, oh, thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Both boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, um, he was supposed he invited them over today to have with them, and he wanted to. There was also an eight year old sister. I forgot who the eight year old was, a sister of either the 11 year old or 13 year old, and he wanted to impregnate the eight year old sister and have babies with her and then have with those kids when they turned five he admitted all of this on camera cons consensually like he was sitting in the car voluntarily with us waiting for you guys like his parents knew he knew he knew up, and um we have it all on fil film of us telling him like you can go at any time like you know he's like yeah, i want to wait here like he's he knows he up. like he's like admitting to all of it and we have this uh recording of him which he admitted to being on um here probably don't hang this. which he admitted to being on of it's him on the phone with who we believe to be the 13 year old. Haley's the 11 year old. I can show you this real quick. Um, I can show you this right here where he says, I'm not trying to wipe for a sec. Um, oh, you can sit, bro. Sit, yeah. How long have you guys been talking with these people? Um, these were our friends who were talking with them, like who worked with us. Um, this, Is that Samantha? Yeah, it looks to be them. like a couple. Uh, I think started like in April sometime. Basically, his first message was, I want you. This was on the Yeah, absolutely. Don't we'll keep it. At least I'm 13, like in the second message. Just keep it over there. Or would it be easier if you just had this, actually? No, this is good right here. Okay. Got a Mirandize him. Let's see what happens next. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you. Yeah. Hey, you guys have any tender or anything like that on Yeah, I actually do. Cool. Uh, yeah, I got one for now. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yeah. cool if I just go in the car and do it. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh. Oh, yeah. I think it's Paul. No, that's your wallet. Oh, my wallet. Thank you. 